Hey guys, what's up everybody? This is Weston Kilpack here. And I just wanna do a quick video today on the proper way to wax a surfboard. I haven't been surfing too long. I've been surfing for about a year. And when I started, I had a lot of confusion on how to wax a surfboard. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. That way when you get out to the ocean, when you get out to go surfing, you can get it done right. Your feet will be gripping the surfboard like sandpaper. Here we go. So today I'm gonna to be waxing this um, M21 surfboard that I just picked up. It's a 9.2, so it'll take a little bit to wax. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get right into it here. I have a couple wax options. And the first thing that we need to do is start with a base coat. Now the base coat, when I rub onto the surfboard, it's gonna create these little beads. And these little beads are what I'm gonna actually put these other two waxes onto. And these are what are more sticky. This is what your feet are gonna stick to when you're out in the ocean and your, your wetsuit or your chest when you're paddling, it's gonna help you stick to the board. Um, today, I'm in California, the water is fairly cold, so I'm gonna be using the green. It's the cool to mild warm temperature. But this will go on after the base coat. When I started surfing, I didn't know this. So I would just put on this cool to wild more, um, this cool to mild warm, and it just would rub off. So I had to put it on every single time it, and it wasn't lasting. But when you do this base coat, it's gonna stay on there forever. I have another surfboard that I waxed up, I don't know, maybe uh, six months ago, and I still have the same base coat on it. Every couple times I go surfing, I'll put a new coat of this on, but when you put a new, a new coat of this on after you have the base coat, it'll take maybe you know two, three minutes just to put a little extra on to, to keep that grip. So I'll jump into it. I'll show you guys how I do this and uh, we'll get going. All right guys, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start waxing up this surfboard here. And what I have is I have my base coat and it's by Sex Wax. There's a couple other brands you can get, um, but this one works really well. Um, here's my wax. I've used it a couple times. And there's a couple ways to do this first base coat layer. Now on my, my other surfboard, what I did is I did big lines like this. And I would go over them two, three times each line, all the way down the surfboard like this. Go all the way down. And then I would come and I'd do it cross like this. And when you're doing this cross section, when you cross the other line of wax, it creates these beads and that's what you're looking for. Today, I'm gonna do a different way. I'm gonna do little circles like this over the entire surfboard and the beads will start to collect. So the, the biggest difference is when you're doing it with these diagonal um, X style lines, you're gonna get these big beads. And the, when you do the smaller ones, you get these smaller beads and it, it just looks more uniform. And for this board, that's, that's kind of the look I'm going for. So I'm gonna start doing it and you guys will watch along. So guys, I, I finished up doing the base coat of wax and I used about a full bar of wax on this 9-2 longboard. It's, it's pretty long, so it's gonna take quite a bit more, but when I zoom in, I want you guys to be able to see this. The wax makes these little beads here and, and that's, what you're, that's what you're looking for. So by doing the small circles, you're gonna get these small beads that are close together. If you do the zigzag X style, there'll be bigger beads a little bit further apart but this is kind of how it's going to look. You're going to get these small beads and they're going to just kind of just be everywhere. And I went all the way up to the nose here. Um, so yeah, you're just looking for these small beads here and uh, then we'll, then we'll put on the next sheet of wax. We'll do that at the beach. All right, guys, made it to the beach. I got, um, I got my base coat put onto the surfboard earlier back at my house. It took pretty long time. It took about an hour because the board's so long. But uh, I'm just gonna show you quick how to put on the uh, next layer of wax. I'm gonna be using this um, cool to mid cool temperature rating wax of the sex wax. And it's the same thing, you're just gonna put it onto the board. Um, you can do little swirls. I like to go back and forth along the entire board and then go vertically back and forth along the whole board just to make sure I get a good um, even layer of wax. So I'll show you how to do it real quick. Here's my wax. So I just like to go like this 
all the way up the entire board and then I'll come all the way back but I'll be doing it vertically like this I'll do the whole board that way and it'll give it a, a nice clean wax so that you stick to it like glue Michael right here. He also has this M21 board right here. But he did his wax in the X-shaped lines like I told you guys about earlier. So that's kind of how the design will look when you do it in the, the X-shaped version. And your little jelly bean nubs of wax are a little bit bigger than compared to doing the small circular scrubbing motions. So it's kind of the difference in look. But they both, they both work perfectly fine. And they both look great, so.